to make extra money, you know, I started to do some unsavory things, but it was basically for survival because bills had to be paid, you still had to eat. I didn't realize that I was being even taken advantage of. It was like, you're beautiful and uh, you have, you can make thousands of dollars doing this because of the way you look and it just seemed easy for me. In Atlanta, Georgia, survivors of sex trafficking and exploitation are discovering a new way to heal. Therapeutic horse lessons at the nonprofit Chastain Horse Park. Accustomed to having little control, they practice taking the reins. In time, they learn to trust again, thanks to the special bond between horses and people. And for someone that has been cut down and not given a voice, being able to work with a thousand pound horse is a huge achievement. Financial support for the lessons comes from donors like the Beringer Ingelheim Cares Foundation. The foundation is the independent U.S. philanthropic arm of Beringer Ingelheim, a pharmaceutical company with an animal health business headquartered in Metro Atlanta that makes medicine for horses, pets, and livestock. Support from the foundation and other donors help survivors forge new beginnings. The National Human Trafficking Hotline counted more than 14,500 victims of sex trafficking in the United States. But that number is based only on people who contacted the hotline in one year. No one knows the real numbers, but the human toll is clear. Not knowing who I was, not feeling loved, not feeling appreciated, um, just feeling like I was worthless, you know? You're not good enough, you're not worthy, you're, you know, you're stupid, you're, you know, just all these negative things you, you think about yourself. You can't live that life sober. And so I became heavily, heavily addicted to drugs and alcohol during this process. In Atlanta, a nonprofit called Wellspring Living offers a way out. I was actually taught at Wellspring that what was happening to me was human trafficking. I never even heard that word before. For 20 years, Wellspring Living has provided opportunities for survivors of sex trafficking and exploitation to begin anew. The organization offers clinical therapy, education training in basic life skills, and personal and professional development. Since 2019, Wellspring Living has brought survivors to another nonprofit in Atlanta, Chastain Horse Park. Thousands of people worldwide benefit from equine-assisted services, from people with post-traumatic stress disorder to those with developmental disabilities or conditions like cerebral palsy. Now, therapeutic riding instructors are harnessing the healing power of horses to help survivors of sex trafficking and exploitation. Most of the time, they're coming in very guarded. They don't have a, a certain level of trust for anyone because of their past experiences. A horse doesn't care what color you are, if you have a stutter, if you don't speak, you're nonverbal, if you have an amputation, they are gonna treat you and any other person with a disability or without the same exact way. Time with horses has become a key step on a journey of recovery. They can enjoy the great outdoors. They can bond with these animals, touching them, feeling their warmth. Working with a live animal has benefits beyond belief. And I think as someone that gets to serve this community through horses, it's a dream come true. Now, like I speak in meetings with like SVPs and it is, it's beyond what I could have like ever imagined, honestly. I'm gonna cry, <laughs> sorry. And I consider it my greatest blessing in life that I was chosen to go through that program. What they did for my family meant more than anything else. And who it molded me to be, the woman that I am today, five years later, a married woman with four kids. It's just, Wellspring still changes my life every day, every day.